Hi there. Today's tutorial will cover how to insert a class kick uh, page into your Schoology account. Now, the interesting thing about this is that I made it to where I can go ahead and assign them a class code, kind of like a widget almost, where they could put their name or they could log in or sign up. Now, if you worked with class kick before, you know that they have certain codes that you need to put in. So uh, for th this tutorial, I'm going to give you the generic login, but you're more than welcome to tweak it afterwards if you want the students to go to a di direct class kick. So we start off here, we finish our class kick assignment. For this purpose, I'm going to go ahead and make sure that the uh, accommodations are something that I want. Um, I go to class code, and if you want to share this exact one, you can. If not, you can just go ahead and just copy it without it. So that way, uh, it's something that you can use that's very generic for your students. I'm going to go, normally you could just copy the link and it'll take you to Google Classroom, but for Schoology, we want to make sure that the students are staying inside Schoology. So we're going to go ahead and go to the iframe generator. Now this tool is one, something that will convert whatever regular URL into a code that can be embedded. Super cool. So you're going to go to iframe-generator.com. You're going to copy and I'm going to, and for this purpose, I'm going to delete the code. I just want my students to go to this login. I'm going to click preview and let's see how the embed would look. So if you notice here that there is a scroll bar, you can go ahead and ch change it to your liking if you want it to be a little taller, a little wider. If you don't want it to have a scroll bar, you can. So once I'm done there, I'm going to generate it. And here's my code, my iframe code. So I'm going to copy it. All right, so now that I'm done, I'm going to go to my class kick and pick the one that I want. I would go to add materials, add page. And then I would go to the freckle and hit the HTML button. Remember, it makes it all clear. Make sure you title. And then in here, I would paste the login. If you did it correctly, you should see a, a, a solid dark yellow uh, or pastel uh, square. Of course, you can uh, change the sizing to your liking. Right. Uh, here, you could actually add, please complete class kick. Uh, let's say, fit, uh, let's do the one that I wanted them to do, 5, 9, Y, 5, F, N. And I could change the cut, you know, whatever code I want to do, I can just go ahead and insert it at the top, like an in instruction, right? Or I could do a bright green for class click. And I want to make this a little bit bigger. So then I'm going to go to 24. Okay. So to my liking, I'm going to go ahead and put display on new page or, in, or inline. It depends on what your preference is. Um, I will give a warning that if you don't, if you do press inline, that it won't show up as a requirement for your students to do because the students already see it. But if you take it display on new page, then you can actually put requirements on your student completion. But for this purpose, we're going to go ahead and press display in line. And you should be seeing your class kick now. Right here. So the students would log in. They would put their name. And, then, or, and or they could log in with their Google, depending if you have the pro feature or not. And then once you're here, do you see how the students actually still have the same tools that they would normally have when they actually go to class kick, but without having to go to class kick? Everything is in the same slide. 
and they could go to any slide you want. Now, you as a teacher would have to go to the class cake uh, view work right here. And then you could see where the student is active. And there should be one that says Jessica. So I'm looking for the one that is active right now. And once I do, I can see that I, that where that person is. So I can go ahead and, uh, you know, monitor all of my students at once. And the great thing about ClassKick is that I, should, I can actually upload PDFs and have students work on those sheets. So instead of me having to model, demo, I can actually have a have already an existing PDF or create one and have and the students even have the opportunity to record themselves to change you can you can change the background you can add multiple choice questions fill in the blank answers um, I would just make sure that you have a you designate a place where students would drop their recording so then I would put it right here see this is a master template of course um, Please, you know, leave a direction, their name, your school, and you can even add, import GIFs. Uh, but the coolest part would be importing a PDF. So this is an image or PDF that I, um, that I, you could say scanned. And then, of course, edit it any way you want. If you want to draw on it, you can. Um, and that master copy will give, be given to everybody else as a student and it's in real time. All they have to do is just press the refresh button. So anytime you make a mistake, this is great for whole group practice, for small group. Um, students can raise their hand if they need additional help. Um, you can see if a student's going way too ahead. You can see if a student hasn't even started, like this one, for example, uh, and to see all of their work in real time. This is a great, and I can see Jessica right here. This is the one that I've been working on. And I can see that she skipped, she only did one and then all did four, did six and seven. Uh, you can add, assign grades. Now this, this is a great tool, uh, especially to solve that dilemma of what do I do when my students are working on a PDF and I want to see what they're doing? Classic is the answer.